Welcome back to the Armory Chats, everybody. It's been a while since we've done one of these, and we have a project here at the Armory, and I thought it was a good opportunity to maybe uh, break this gun out to, to show what's going on. So I'm not completely sure if we've ever shown this gun before, and I use the term gun loosely. This is a Martini Henry. Uh, however, it is not a real Martini Henry. It is a, I guess, a Kyber, ca Kyber Pass copy from Afghanistan. So. Uh, this did come from Afghanistan. Let me go ahead and show some of the markings on it. It has uh, some of the telltale signs. Let's see if I can get this in the light. The light's in here kind of rough. Um, you can see where it's got maker's marks and proof marks and all that kind of stuff, and it's jacked up and it's crooked. And the you know the British would never do that. Even a, even an arsenal in Afghanistan would never have done it like that. It would be much cleaner. And then there's uh, there's some. Um, marks up here maybe on the barrel extension or the rear of the rear of the barrel what slides in the receiver so i mean if you look at this gun closely it is obviously a, a forged handmade fake gun uh you can even kind of tell where i don't know if maybe they were trying to maybe give it some patina or acid up to make it make it look older than it was or maybe they just got a little sloppy with the uh, with the varnish on the wood but you can see where they were trying to um, you know maybe uh, maybe fluff up the uh, the patina a little bit on the gun to try to make it try to make it appear to be uh, to be original and there's a few things on this gun that I always thought were kind of interesting uh, one of them is I suspect there are a few parts few parts here that may be original I I don't know why, but I seem to, I, I'm guessing if there is any part on this gun that is actually British Empire original, uh, it would be maybe this lever. I can't really prove it. It's more of a gut feeling. I, even then, I give it a 50-50 chance. Anybody that actually um, knows more about these would probably immediately say that, uh, say that you know that's not real at all and so uh even if you uh anyone even with half a brain you can see there's some modern hardware installed in the gun i believe that is a metal or that is a aluminum uh aluminum rod <laughs> that's you know in the gun and you can see where they've done some stuff to the gun to you know use what they had to put it together and you know it, it's got some interesting interesting touches on it uh i thought this little divot here in the uh, receiver was kind of interesting the fact they they, they went to the effort to do that um, the only the only real uh, negative or, or or weakness in this gun besides the obvious that it's fake is it doesn't have a butt butt plate so I guess in theory I could be in the market for a either a real martini Henry butt plate or a Kyber Kyber pass martini butt plate and uh, this gun, for those of you that don't know, this is 100% non-fireable. I'm not saying somebody in Afghanistan or Pakistan or Kashmir or anywhere along, you know, those Hindu Kush mountains wouldn't have fired this, but uh, we will never be firing this gun. This is not a safe firearm to do that. And we purchased it understanding it was fake. Uh, and part of the reason was we believe at some point in my lifetime especially many of our viewers lifetimes the ability to go to afghanistan and bring stuff out of that country will change because if afghanistan is not going to stay in the state that it's in now it will change one way or the other probably the other and uh things like this will dry up because no more will be able to be brought out of the country so why am i showing this well a new item is coming to the armory that we thought was an interesting opportunity to put with this gun. Gun in quotes. So let me show that to you now. So what we have here is something else made for the tourist trade in Afghanistan. 
they call it an Afghan war rug. And these are not uncommon. They're, they're a known quantity uh, you know, out in the market, but it's been my experience that most of them are fairly large. This one is one foot by three feet, roughly. Uh, you can see it's got a AK on it and some tanks and a helicopter and some grenades. I think ideally it may have been designed to be to be uh, hung vertically. So we thought nothing would go better with a fake Afghan Kyber Pass rifle than basically a fake Afghan war rug. So uh, the rifle normally lives in a common area in the armory. It's usually uh, very high up on a wall. So this was a good chance for us to take it down, dust it, put some oil on it, lay it with this rug and see if maybe we could pre start presenting them together. Anyway, remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.